now we visit the Irwins. Breakfast this fine spring morning doesn't seem to be a very joyous affair. Let's find out what's cooking. <coughs> Don't you think I should be told what's going on in my own house? What's the reason for all the gloom? Because I can't go to Joyce's party and invite my friends. But it isn't a children's party. It's an initiation. We're not children. That's presumptuous. Don't use big words. I may not be educated yet, but I'm not a child. Well, stop there. That's enough. Pudgy Dudley and little Willie at an adult party. It's impossible. They're just as good as your friends, that cow-eyed person. Now, quiet. I've heard enough for one morning. Now you know, dear. I think I get the general idea, and I also think I'm going to settle it right now. I've already settled it. Oh, you have? Jackie, you know that this is to be Joyce's party. You also know that when you grow up, you'll have parties of your own. Tonight, I've asked you to remain in your room. Now, let's finish breakfast, and you'll all be off to school. I'm finished. Excuse me, please. Jackie. Your lunch is on the kitchen table, dear. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Jackie. I'm in a hurry to meet Anne. We have lots of plans to make. Your lunch is on the kitchen table, dear. Thanks, Mom. Mm. Bye, Dad. Mm, I'll see you at school, Joyce. June, I think we're approaching this problem the wrong way. It isn't a problem, dear. It's just an incident. I don't know. I still think the solution isn't right. But it is Joyce's party. Mm, there ought to be a close bond within a family, June. But there is, darling. We're a wonderful family. Whatever it is, parties, problems, or incidents, we should all be in it together. Jackie feels she's being left out. There's bound to be trouble when somebody in the family's left out. She'll get over it, and I do think she's too young to be at Joyce's party. Mm, I guess we can't settle it now. I've got to get to school. But I'm a family man. <laughs> Pretty wonderful one, too. Mm. Your lunch is on the kitchen table. I see. <laughs> Uh, come in. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Irwin. Good afternoon. Won't you be seated? I represent the NLLFBJ. NLLFB? The National Ladies League for Better Juveniles. Oh, oh, yes. Our latest bulletin requests me to investigate juvenile delinquency. I don't quite know what you mean. I mean those wild parties and those horrible initiations we hear about. Well, they may happen, but not here. Not with our youngsters, Mrs. Bracker. Oh, excuse me. Yes, hello? Yes, Miss Jones. You say the skeleton is missing. Well, I'll uh, I'll have to call you back. What is missing, Mr. Irwin? No, only the skeleton from the anatomy class. It's just a prank. Oh, just a prank. Hmm. For your information, my little Gwendolyn was frightened almost to death last night by two of your young students who had that skeleton. Well, now, Mrs. Bracker. And now I find it was stolen and from this school. Probably for one of those wild initiation parties. Wouldn't you say stolen is a rather harsh word? They only borrowed it. Well, I remember when I was a student here myself. Mr. Irwin, appropriating someone else's property without permission is stealing. Now, did they or did they not have your permission? Well, no. Then but... it was stolen. Mrs. Bracker, things are not always the way they appear at first glance. I'm sure the skeleton will be returned. Oh, excuse me. Yes, Miss Jones. Oh, I'll put him on. Yes, Willie. Mr. Irwin, Zip will come home. Yes, I got him right here in the gymnasium. Well, thank you, Willie, thank you. Just as I said, Mrs. Bracker, the skeleton has been returned. It's here now. Oh, I don't know what to believe. Uh, it's in the gymnasium being attended to right at this moment. I'll just make sure. I'm very sorry about your daughter, Gwendolyn. My daughter? This is Gwendolyn. That's Gwendolyn? Well, naturally. What did you expect? And I can tell you this, if anything is stolen just once more, or I hear anything more about those wild initiation parties, I'll report you, and something serious will happen to you, Mr. Irwin. Thank you, and good afternoon. Very good afternoon. Well. Uh oh, Zip, I got you going the wrong way. You know, you do a lot of traveling. It's kind of showing on you, too. Now you can see where you're going. Now this ain't gonna hurt you now. If it do, just holler. Is that all right now? Now I got you fixed up fine. Uh-oh, I got to go up to the principal's office. Now you stay right here. Thank you. 
to him yet, Jackie. Well, it's cute. You wanted to see me? Yeah, it's about the party tonight. Gee, it sure was nice of you to invite me. Are we going to have homemade ice cream and one of your mother's good cakes? Sure. Uh, I wonder if you could do me a favor. Well, sure, Joyce. Anything you say. Well, you know, the purpose of the party is to initiate Anne into our club. So if you could help us with the scare part, gee, I'd sure appreciate it. Well, how can I scare anybody? With the costume that's in this package. You put it on in our garage and then come around to the back door and then I'll tell you what to do. But don't let anybody see you. Well, gee, Joyce, I, I don't know. Oh, Percy, you're a darling. I just knew you'd do it, Mars. Oh, all right, Joyce. I'll do it for you. Oh, thanks. That's okay. Hi, kids. Oh, oh hi, Anne. Oh, oh Anne. <laughs> What's the joke, Percy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. I, I just like to laugh once in a while. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, come on, Ann. I want to tell you about something. Come along, Dudley. I've got a swell idea. Yeah? They won't let us come to their party. We'll give them a real initiation. If I'm thinking what I think you're thinking, we shouldn't do it. Don't be so scrupulous, Dudley. Take hold of the feet. We'll get a cloth to cover it and carry it home. This is against my better judgment, Jackie. Heave home, matey. Don't be afraid of it, Dudley. It can't bite you. I was only thinking, this is serious, you being the principal's daughter. Zipper doesn't know that. Come on. You're late today, dear. Mm, it was one of those days. Well, come on, sit down and relax and tell me all about it. There were plenty of problems during the morning, and then around noon, trouble really started. I hope it was nothing serious. Mm, I was threatened. I'm in danger of being exposed. Still, what for? Who threatened you? There's a Mrs. Bracker of the NLLFBJ. The what? Well, that's some league she belongs to for improving juvenile delinquents. Well, what does that to do with it? Well, it seems that, um, well, at least she said that our juveniles were very delinquent and it was my fault. Oh, that's absurd. No, oh, wait till you hear about Zipper. Zipper? You've been awfully quiet all afternoon. Oh, I've just resigned myself. You don't have to dramatize it. I've made up my mind that this is your day. I want you to have fun at your party. We will. You sure will. You're awfully solicitous suddenly after this morning. I've earned my place, that's all. <laughs> I never know what to expect from you. I guess you'll just have to wait and find out. There, that ought to hold you little dinner. I'll try to survive. <laughs> Must be Willie. I'll let him in. Come in, Willie. Mr. Lerman, something terrible has happened. Zipper just disappeared. What? Stolen again? I never seen such a fellow for getting around. Well, we'll just have to get him back, Willie. If that Mrs. Barker finds out about this, I'll be in trouble. Mr. Irvin, if you ask me, you're in trouble now. He just walked away. Oh, that's impossible. We'll find him. Stu, you're not going out. Yes, I have to, June. Zipper's been stolen again, and I'll have to go find him. But we were having an early dinner on account of the party. Well, don't hold dinner. If I'll, I'll try and get back, but if I don't, don't let me interfere with anything. Try to make it, dear. Oh, hi, Nancy. Hello, Tim. Hi, Joyce. How are you? Hi. Won't you take your coat in the other room? Sure. Thanks, Tim. Gee, we're all here now. Wonderful. Percy isn't here. Oh, uh, Percy will be a little bit late. Oh. Come on, everybody. We're going to start Anne's initiation now. Come on, Anne. Your initiation's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now look, Anne. If you can stay in the study alone until the candle burns down, you pass the initiation. Is that all? No, that's all. That's enough. All right. <laughs> now we can dance and go on at the party. Go on. Let's go dance. Okay.
I can't think of any place else we can search tonight. Mr. Irvin's soup is somebody I don't like to look for at night. You know, we haven't had any dinner. I'll open the garage door and you drive the car in, then we'll go get some deep. Yes. Willie! Here it is! I'll get it and put it in the car. Oh, Mr. Irvin, you tickle. Willie. Mr. Irvin, I don't think I'll wait for dinner. Willie. Zipper talked to me. Talked? Yes. Talked. You sure you feel all right? He talked to me. Willie, go see if he'll talk to you. Oh, I don't think he'll speak my language. Now, wait a minute, Willie. We'll go together. Come on. He's gone. He's gone? He's gone. Uh-oh. If he starts walking and talking, this ain't no place for me. Now, wait a minute, Willie. We, we've got to find him. Now, you... You search around in the garage, and I'll check up on the house. If this is daylight, I can put my heart in this. We've got to find him, Willie. Now, you keep on searching. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll look for him, but I don't feel very enthusiastic about it. Well, go ahead on in then. Willie, I can't. How'd you know my name? Mr. Irvin! Mr. Irvin! Mr. Irvin! What is it, Willie? What's the matter? That cat just talked to me. Oh, cats can't talk. Zipper talked to you, didn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, look, Willie, we have to find Zipper. Now, go on, keep Mr. Irvin, this is a two-man's job. Yes, it sure is. Well, all right. You look on this side, and I'll look on this one. Yes. You scared me that time. Well, he has nothing to be frightened of. If Zipper's going to hide in these barrels, we'll never find him. We have to find him. You go on and keep looking. Keep looking? Yes, sir. Zipper? I don't know why we can find him in here. Skeletons don't talk, but that didn't just talk to me. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. He said, keep looking, keep looking. If I do, I'm gonna keep looking with my eyes closed. Oh. Mr. Irvin said, just keep looking. There's one job I'm wasting on. Sapping up all my vitality. I think I'll sit down. I can look while I'm resting. Whew. Get it, get it. We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. And now, back to the Irwins. Are you having a nice time at your party, dear? Well, I will when Percival gets here. Oh, Dad, have you seen Percy any place? No, I haven't. I haven't seen anything. You look as though you'd seen a ghost. I do. I did. It talked to me. Oh, dear, you've been working too hard. Huh? And you must be starved. I'm sure there's some roast left. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't have, could I? No. <laughs> I couldn't have seen a thing. I... What do you
I don't know. Anything's liable to happen tonight. <laughs> There's no one here. Must be in the house. There's nothing here. Dad, there must be. Jackie, do you know what you've done to me? People want to report me. I'm awfully sorry, Dad, but there is something else. A ghost. Please find it. Oh, now, Jackie, look, I... There's nothing around, Jackie. You're just trying to cover up your own mischief. But there was. I saw it. Well, it isn't here now. And for bringing that specimen home, you'll stay in the house after school every day for a week. I'll see that Zipper gets back in the morning. I'd better get back downstairs. All right, there. I'll take care of this young lady. Now. I guess I've just got too much imagination, Dad. I deserve to be punished. I'm sorry for trying to spoil Joyce's party. 
Oh, well, that's better. And everything's all quiet. Stuart! What's that? I've got it, see, Joyce. Uh -huh. You do? Oh, I knew yes, it was you mother. all the time. I... Mother, what was all the screaming about? Oh, Percival, I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? I wish I knew. I've been all over. Well, come on. we got to get down and finish the initiation. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> Honestly. Do go to bed, Jackie. Yes. All right, Mother. <laughs> This is the silliest initiation I ever saw. Nothing happened. Yes, nothing happened. Percy, what's that gruesome thing for? Oh, Percy, it's all your fault. You ruined everything. Now go and change clothes. But, gee, I didn't even get anything to eat. Oh, that's too no. bad. Now, go on. Come here, Nancy. Well, let's all dance. Oh, well, I can see you okay. We don't want to have to go through this again, Jim. I should say not. From now on, whenever we do anything within the family, we'll do it together. You're right, darling. It'll always be in the family. Now, at last, you're going to have something to eat. <laughs> but I'm afraid you're going to have to settle for dessert. Now what? Now we'll find out who you are, lady. Is Mr. Irwin in? Well, you go back to your party, Joyce. Your father will handle this. Uh, this lady said you could identify her, Mr. Irwin. I don't understand, officer. Well, I caught her peeking in your window, and I didn't think she had any right to be there. Mr. Irwin knows me, he'll tell you. <laughs> officer, what's the penalty for prowling? 30 days, Mr. Irwin. 30 days? Well, things aren't always as bad as they look, are they? You aren't really a peeping Tom. No, of course not. You see, officer, sometimes people get the wrong impression at first glance. Don't you think so, Mrs. Brack? Yes, yes, you're perfectly right, Mr. Irwin. Sometimes people do interpret good, clean fun the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> you see, officer, we know each other quite well. This is Mrs. Bracker of the NLL... NLLFBJ. FBJ, yes. Sir. Well, if you both know what it means, Mr. Irwin, I'm satisfied. Yes. Good night. Good night, officer. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> now I'm sure you'll get something to eat. I'll even settle for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Mr. Irwin, you scared me. Now we're even. 